Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at BAFX. I hope you all had a great trading week last week. We had uh, some great ideas that went uh, very nicely and last Friday man that was a not a normal Friday. But as usual it was the last uh, day of the month and the last trading day for the week so there was lots of uh, great moves. I hope you did catch some of those pips. So uh, as usual guys we're gonna um, take a look at all the majors including gold and oil and um, yeah while I roll the intro and disclaimer hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe I need you to do that guys because uh, the views are going down and uh, if I see it is not worth it I may stop doing these videos as well thanks a lot see you there So welcome back guys a quick look at the calendar as you see it is packed with major uh, events next week um, ISM manufacturing from the US cake gene manufacturing from China cash rate from Aussie unemployment and employ uh, unemployment rate and employment change for New Zealand a uh, couple of speak for uh, Lowy who will speak two times for um, <coughs> the governor of the RBA ACB president Lagarde to speak two times and we do have retail sales from Aussie and if we end the Friday with non-farm payroll and CAD employment change and unemployment rate really really packed week so uh, it may get very interesting we'll add to that all these uh, coronavirus headlines uh, there will be some actions in the market um, we will start with the Dixie as usual and um, as you see guys last Friday there was a huge push to the downside uh, on the dollar uh, <coughs> and the euro went strongly to the upside and i honestly i don't see a, a main reason for that for that move more than a uh, possible end of months uh, liquidation and um, rebalancing so uh, very strong push to the downside i'm a little bit cautious about this uh, dollar weakness on friday there is no real explanation for that in uh, for me so uh, if we go down to lower time frame we saw we had a great trade opportunity with uh, seeing this market uh, pushing higher uh, slow correction pushing higher slow correction push pushing higher and all of a sudden we start seeing a change in momentum look at the size of those can the bearish candle the first time they get bigger followed by another one followed by bearish divergence on the rsi and then another bearish engulfing candle that broke the neckline so it was a great signal here to short this market and after the break of this area here it was a free fall so um, in my opinion there is uh, two important levels to watch uh, on this market uh, the first one is the yearly pivot point for 2020 down here if uh, dollar make a small correction and push lower to that area keep an eye on this level for the bulls to probably defend this area the second level is to the upside if this market start moving to the upside and fail to make new high there is a potential move lower from this area okay so for the dollar to keep pushing higher uh, bulls need to make a strong push to the upside and break above this level for that continuation is that continuation possible well i think yes it is looking on the daily time frame we had a um, great uh, surge to the upside higher highs higher lows another push uh, to the upside here and now uh, this dip i think uh, as far as this low down here is holding the bulls may keep pushing higher from that area so keep an eye on this level if reach it next week it's going to be very important for the dollar bulls oil pretty strong to the downside daily time frame you see that we reach it a key support level now the price is testing the 51 area this area been tested many times as a strong level of um, support uh, you can go um, further back and you will see that this is gonna be a pretty important price so be aware of this level the bulls may show up here at this area and try to push the price higher because a break below that that will make a lot of trouble for the bulls and maybe send the price all the way down back toward 4250 area this is a pretty important level so uh, last week uh, as i told you in the uh, overview if we uh, to break this level look for a retest and sell and that exactly what i said to my <coughs> subscribers in our trading room as well when the broke uh, when the break happened 
we uh, we were looking for a retest and continuation and we've got this whole move nicely as expected so now time to watch for possible bullish move from this area you see that we have some <coughs> bullish divergence here and as i said on the daily time frame this is a key level so start looking for a possible um, a possible move to the upside from this area start looking for some bullish evidence as for now they are not here yet but uh, next week who knows what will happen gold bullish um, continuation to the upside after the uh, uh, drop we saw in the stock market of course you will see uh, gold making a move to the upside so on the daily time frame we have a close above this uh, previous high here um, this level and uh, the next uh, market objective uh, could be the um, 16 11 16 12 area up here when we had the high of this rejection so um, keep an eye on this trend line in my opinion as far as this trend line is not broken there is a potential continuation from this area if uh, gold bulls manage to hold the price above this level then the next step would be another push to the upside especially if we keep having the same sentiment as the stock market that would mean continuation to the upside keep buying the dips on gold until you see a break below the trend line a break below these levels here that would signal possible move to the downside back toward uh, previous month r1 by the way guys these uh, monthly pivot are for the last month since we didn't get uh, uh, this month's uh, pivots yet <clears throat> usd so as i said on the dixie the this um, weakness on the dollar or the strength on the euro uh, i have been a hard time explaining it uh, in any case we are still below the 200 moving average and uh, i think uh, as far as this move is still um, doing lower lows lower highs there is still potential continuation to the downside so keep an eye on this area where we have this trouble level and the 200 moving average here um, it could be a possible level of uh, resistance so looking at it like this on the four hour i see the 50 percent uh, retracement area as a possible level of uh, trouble um, uh, here actually we could also use this whole zone between the 50 and 618 as a possible level of interest for uh, for the seller so um, keep that uh, area in mind and it is pretty extended move so i'm i'm expecting soon at least uh, some kind of uh, correction to the downside for the euro i don't see the euro stronger than the dollar for a uh, in a long uh, in the long run actually but again we are still inside this uh, nice uh, consolidation zone uh, could it continue higher well yes but um, i think uh, for that we need to see some evidence and those evidence would be a correction lower a slow one and that the price start making a new higher low here if that would be the case then we may see that continuation so uh, i will keep following this uh, of course um, update for uh, my uh, subscribers in the room will get uh, those uh, uh, updates each and every day to to uh, because sometimes we say something on Sunday and we start seeing uh, sentiment change already on Monday and Tuesday and then we need to adapt to that so um, those um, daily updates are very very important sterling so uh, we <coughs> see that uh, sterling broke above this previous high also for the same reason uh, that dollar weakness uh, we had on Friday and there is a potential continuation to previous high up here toward this uh, last month uh, <coughs> pivot point looking on the four hour time frame uh, if uh, i think if um, sterling uh, managed to hold above this level here above this uh, broken structure here and these levels if there is a, um, a bullish um, signals here uh, there is potentially a continuation to the upside so wait for that correction next week and keep an eye on this level for uh, a possible bullish defense on this level keeps um, buying the dips if so and uh, again for a longer term um, change of view here if this will change to bearish it need to break and hold below 1.300 this level need to be broken for uh, the bears to take over the control as far as the price is above that it is still a possible bullish market and uh, buy the dips USD Japanese so uh, broke strongly to the downside um, 
<coughs> last Friday we're trading below this um, key support level this area here and I think there is a possibility that we see this market pushing toward 107 80 107 70 down here at these levels uh, looking at the daily time frame you see that after this break there is not much below that until we reach this area so if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that we had this consolidation I love these consolidation that those give you like some hint before um, the real moves we had this nice break to the downside then it failed to make a new high followed by bearish engulfing candle so it was an easy decision to try and short this market uh, back down toward these levels so now since uh, it is uh, broken and on the four hour time frame we still have impulse correction impulse correction another uh, correction impulse so we wait for a correction and look for the next leg to the downside any retest that failed to make new high look to short this market back down toward 107.80 in my opinion uh, New Zealand USD also great uh, trade here um, <coughs> gave you that also last week in the weekly overview and we've been talking about that if this area got broken uh, we should be looking to sell this market so we have the gap down it broke and kept pushing to the downside so looking on the daily time frame we are now at a key level we are uh, testing this area for the first time keep in mind there is a little gap down here that may get closed as well uh, but where the, uh, the price is right now is a pretty important level start looking for possible bullish evidence but be aware that we may reach 618 and maybe close this little little gap with a candle body on the daily uh, before any reversal but it is pretty interesting area to start looking for the possibility of a continuation after this huge move to the upside now possibly a correction and then a continuation is possible after this um, strong push to the downside RSI at the oversold um, so for our time frame we still have um, no evidence here about any bullish move the, as I said there is potentially some more downside here until we reach these levels but um, you need to start looking at this I'm not shorting here at this level I'm looking more for um, possible bullish evidence near this area to start looking for possible bounce to the upside USD chief also strongly to the downside uh, took the trade left a uh, lots of money on the table because I, I closed my short um, somewhere down here at this low I was not expecting this uh, big weakness but again uh, the chart is showing now that we not far away from the last line of defense here if this got broken next week the next level would would be down here at the uh, last month um, uh, s1 so looking at the four hour time frame <coughs> we see this nice break retest another continuation uh, looking for a possible retest to this area if it fails to make a new high we will be looking for a continuation move to the downside as i said <coughs> usd cat also um, been pushing to the upside and now reached the 200 moving average on the daily time frame uh, still uh, looking um, bullish and there is potential continuation if the price hold um, for a while above a yearly pivot point but if it fails to do so we may see a, a continuation after this uh, move break to the downside another correction and another move lower so it is right now we could say that we are trending to the downside on this uh, move here so um, keep watching for that on the four hour I'm following this wedge um, and this um, slightly divergence I would like to see a bit more clear divergence on this one we still don't really have it but uh, as you see it is a slightly bearish divergence here we start making uh, some kind of a wedge and uh, again this may keep pushing to the upside doing something like this all the way to this area and at this level I'm pretty interested to see what will happen because this area may act as possible um, good resistance level to then see that drop to the downside especially if oil um, to start pushing higher from that uh, major support level Aussie USD same as New Zealand USD so we broke major structure and it was all about sell rallies on this market and now it did reach a key support level looking at this chart on the weekly time frame you see where we are at 
and looking left it is a pretty empty area until we reach these levels so will it continue to the downside this um, yes there is pretty uh, possible but you need to see a break a strong break below this level before that continuation so it is a major level it is extremely oversold we have a pretty extended move here so uh, for next week i will firstly start look for uh, possible bullish evidence some kind of double bottom some kind of um, inverted uh, head and shoulder to happen here on the four hour time frame to then start looking for that possible reversal but if the break uh, to the downside happened below these lows then we may keep looking to uh, sell rallies okay so uh, yeah that was uh, the last chart for uh, the youtube video thanks a lot guys and uh, see you next week bye bye